OK, so for this question then, we're asked to write this expression in this particular form. So what we've got to do is complete the square for an expression like this. Now because this term here, the d squared term, is negative, it's a good idea to pull out minus 0.02 as a common factor, first of all. So if we do that, what you're going to get is this line here. Now, we've got the d squared minus 200d minus 900 in the bracket here, which is in the right form for completing the square. So what I'd want to do now is say that this is identical to the minus 0.002 that we have. And then, in the usual way, when you get an expression like this, we just set up a bracket. In this case, it's the d. And then we halve the coefficient of d, which is half of minus 200 is minus 100. Put that in there, close the bracket and square it. When you square this out, you're going to get d squared minus 200d plus the result of minus 100 squared. That's going to be plus 10,000. So we've got to subtract that 10,000. OK, so we subtract the 10,000. This, if you worked it out now, will just give me d squared minus 200d. And then I just tag on the end the minus 900. OK, so we've got that line there. It's just a question now of simplifying this. And if you multiply minus 0.002 with minus 10,900, you'll end up with this 21.8 and then you've got minus 0.02 times the d minus 100 all squared. Okay so you can see it's in this form here. So I'll just take that away and we can write that it's identical then to a minus b all times d minus c squared where a is 21.8, b is 0.02 and c is 100. Okay?